Every since the fall of Eve and Adam, we all been lacking compassion since Cain and Abel. We still been stabbing our brothers back and likes a low budget movie. That Yo, it's really good. It's your boy Sandlax in the building, man. How y'all doing, man? Thank y'all for coming to check your boy out on another Tuesday. I actually got this one up on Tuesday today, so kudos to me. Anyway, if y'all are uh, interested in uh, Christian rap music, Christian hip hop, that was me on the intro. You can check out my new music channel I set up. I used to do a lot of music back in the day and life happened. And so now I'm getting back to doing what I love, using my gift to reach the masses um, about this good news. So I'll drop the link in the comments or in the description below. So anyway, what is going on in the world of dreadlocks on YouTube? I got a couple of updates for you guys. I realized that I actually had two job opportunities that I had mentioned to you guys about that I didn't let you guys know how they went. So the first one was for a contract job where I would actually get to keep running my own business as a web designer, graphic designer, uh, business branding uh, personnel and um, contract with them like they do it uh, they do it I, I don't know if I'm at liberty to quite talk about their business or whatever but what they do is provide a different web service um, that isn't a web design or web development related um, but their clients often need new websites as a part of um, their whole rebranding and so I've contracted with them and so when they get these projects now they'll filter the web clients to me which is a total blessing because it's almost like they do 80% of the work for me as far as going out getting the clients setting the um, setting the price I still get uh, I still have some liberty in uh, negotiating the price depending on the job um, But that is such a blessing for me because it allows me to continue to work from my home and spend time with my family and my kids and my friends so I uh, praise God for that opportunity secondly was the one I went to last week major corporation this would actually require me to um, work for them as a contractor for a couple of months um that one really cool because I had an interview with them and uh, you know I got to bring my dreads into it like you know I like the dreadlocks are a part of my life they're, they're not like and they, they, you know something else I put in the background like it's totally a part of my life so it's only natural that I started talking about them and basically um, you know what comes up is my military career you know and I play it off as you can see I'm going through a great deal of trouble to um, uh, hide the fact but no and so I can, I can make jokes about it and uh, they tend to think it's cool. Um, so anyway, you know, it's not like an elephant in a room with me having dreadlocks. I usually try to find a way to break the ice uh, when I'm meeting with people. Um, and like I said, I'm out here in Southern California, so dreadlocks are kind of like a, it's like a, it's like one of those cool things like, oh, I like your hair. Like, that's so cool type of deal. So I don't know where you're at. But anyway, I think the interview went well. Um, and I think I did really well the interview. The only thing I think that could be a problem, which I don't know if I'll get this job or not, is because I do plan on going to university. And the kind, the job description initially um, required for three months. So that would be great because it would be May, um, May, June, July, and then the contract would be over. But apparently the contract could run on for about six to seven months which would be great, but I wouldn't be able to work here where I'm at and go to school full time at San Diego State University. And I can't really pass up a university opportunity for a job that's only gonna last four or five months. So I just pray, keep my fingers crossed to see if they'll be able to work me and work on my schedule. But if not, I know that my God will still provide. So I thought I'd let you guys, I thought I would update you guys on that one, on those two, sorry, I forgot. Thirdly, I've been getting a lot of questions, man, on Instagram, YouTube, and uh, Twitter, and I'm glad uh, from a lot of newbies in the game. Shout out to all the newbies in the game. Thank y'all for embarking on this journey. It's so amazing. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions, though. Let me check my time, because y'all know my thing be tripping. All right. Alright, so yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions from New Zealand Game uh, about dreadlocks. Really, they're starting dreadlocks. There's, there's a lot of issues and a lot of uh, confusion and misnomers about starting dreadlocks. So let me try to clarify a few of them. Uh, one, when you get your first set of starter locks, how long does it take for you to be able to wash your dreadlocks? Um, well, I, I personally couldn't walk around with itchy scalp, and so basically, I took the itchiness for as long as I could, and then after that, I just had to wash it. I mean, there's, as you can see, the dreadlocks will come, um, and so I guess it, it ended up turning up um, where I would wash my hair. You know, I get my hair done. Say, let's just use the first. I get my hair done the first. I could generally make it about two weeks. I mean, again, like I said, I, I, I live a very like active lifestyle, going to the gym, running around with kids. So sweat build up. That's inevitable for me. So I could maybe make it about two good weeks um, before I needed to wash my hair. 
But what I knew was at the other end of two weeks, on the first again, I'll be getting my hair done again. So I'll be washing my hair really like once in between retwists um, to start. And yes, it does cause your hair to unravel a lot in the beginning, especially if you're like vigorously trying to um, wash your hair. Uh, one thing I would kind of recommend is instead of using your fingertips, like your nails, try to use the nubs to get in between the scalp. For one, that helps prevent breakage because nails tend to be sharp. And two, that can just be a little bit more gentle on your scalp. But one thing I figured out, I forgot who mentioned this to me, but one thing I figured out is that what I what I did start to do was I took a stocking cap and I would put it on my on my baby locks and then I would shampoo and wash my hair through the stocking cap and that actually helped wash my hair a lot gentler and um, maintain the twist um, a lot longer. Uh, I mean, I mean the twist kind of that, I think that kind of actually helped a lot keeping the twist together. Although my scalp and stuff was clean and my and you know at the base it was kind of unraveling. Like it would help keep the twist at the end. So try that out and see how that works. Secondly, how can I prevent buildup? I got tons of buildup. Buildup comes from um, one of two. Well, two things mainly cause buildup. One is um, overuse of products. The product that you use it may just cause too much buildup. It just may be too thick. Your gel may be too too thick. Your shampoos or whatever. And secondly, it comes from not washing out shampoos and conditioners fully. Um, with dreadlocks, you can't just do that thing like you do when you get waves and you just get out the shower, or dry your hair. You literally have to spend an equal amount of time, if not more, rinsing shampoo and conditioner out of your dreadlocks because that will cause buildup and i would say try to use stuff like um, natural oils to moisturize a jojoba oil is really great because it's the most like the um, oils produced by the scalp uh, but try to use a, a natural oil type of moisturizer opposed to some type of spray spritzer or what have you and i uh, just be sure to know that you know like i said when you think about getting your locks retwisted usually we get our hair retwisted with a lot of gel and so yeah, think about that, you know, all that gel is not disappearing. It's going to be on your scalp. Plus, if you're active, you're going to start sweating. So remember that that also causes buildup in the beginning. And that's why I also recommend using a water-based aloe type of gel. By the way, the aloe gel that I've been using is sick, man. I love it. This stuff, awesome. I used it two, three weeks ago almost. I mean, the scalp is looking... Your scalp is looking fantastic, really it is. So I would recommend this stuff if you're gonna go with an aloe gel. I'm digging it right now, it's just 100%. They have a few things in it just to keep it from, I mean, aloe is a plant, so, you know, if you don't put some type of stabilizer in it, it'll go bad. I have a real aloe plant outside and I used to do that all the time, so it'll go bad. So anyway, those are a few questions I've been getting a lot in the last couple of weeks and just wanted to clarify those things for you. So. Holla at your boy, man. Get at me on Instagram. Get at me on Twitter. You already know what it is. You already at me on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment below. Let me know what y'all thinking. Uh, please, veterans in the game, if you're watching my channels, I am always down for you dropping information in the comments below, too, about what you're using in your dreadlock game to make things more successful for you. So, videos for everybody. You feel what I'm saying? Holla at your boy, man. Sell likes out of the building. And remember to check out my other music channel to get up on that Christian hip hop, that Christian rap. You feel what I'm saying? Holla. Every since the fall of even Adam, we all been lacking compassion since Cain and Abel. We still been stabbing our brothers back to life's a low budget movie that we.